The Supreme Court of the United States upheld the decision that supported the University of Texas's Affirmative Action Program. Now, the case centered on a student, Abigail Fisher, who sued the University of Texas as she felt she was being discriminated against for being white. Steve Sanders is a professor at IU's Mauer School of Law. He's here to help us understand this case and this decision. Thanks so much for being here Happy today. To be here, Barbara. Uh, so let's break this down. What changes based on, on this ruling? This is not a new debate about affirmative action. No, the bottom line for universities like Indiana University and others in the state is that the status quo continues. This is only this case uh, was the latest chapter in a battle that's been going on at the Supreme Court since 2003 about the constitutionality of affirmative action programs in higher education. This case was brought by opponents of affirmative action seeking to scale back further or eliminate it altogether. Instead, the decision they got from a court that only had seven people participating because of Justice Scalia's death and, just, and Justice Kagan recusing herself was a very narrow decision that focused on the specific circumstances at the University of Texas and basically left in place the ability of all other public universities to do affirmative action the way they're doing it right now. How exactly do these programs work? Because while they're allowed, there are certain things that universities cannot do. That's right. The uh, so court said in 2003 in the Grutter decision that um, universities may engage in a very limited consideration of race. No quotas, no automatic numbers of points for race or ethnicity. Um, the consideration of race must be done as part of a holistic review of all of an applicant's credentials. In other words, it can be one aspect of, a, of the strengths and the qualities that a student brings, but it has to be in the context of their overall portfolio, their academic achievement, their letters of recommendation, other personal characteristics that they would bring to that class. Do you think we'll ever see affirmative action go away? Do you think we're ever going to get to that point? Well, I don't think so, because um, the premise of the way the court has said affirmative action may be done is that it is a benefit to educational institutions to be able to choose a student body that's broadly representative and that racial and ethnic diversity is beneficial not just to the students who get admitted, but to their classmates and to the overall learning environment. And so I think that likely won't change. Uh, the court is signaling it will defer to the judgment of educators about how they put together the composition of their incoming classes. Thank you so much for being sure. here. We surely appreciate Happy it. Happy to be here.